Mm -hmm. Our internet's really slow. Hi! Hi, Hi everyone! Hey, Facebook and YouTube! Welcome to the uh, third episode of Wine, Women, and Song mm -hmm. with the diva <laughs> and the princess. Um, this is our special Valentine's Day edition, so we have a few things that we want to cover today. Um, some of the things we're going to talk about are our top five romantic destinations in Sacramento. We happen to know a few. <laughs> and um, we're also going to be making some really fantastic Valentine's Day cocktails. Yes. And we're also going to talk romantic music. So if you have a, a romantic plan for this Valentine's Day, which is Thursday, if you didn't know, um, we're going to talk about what should be on your playlist. Yeah. And I of course, we're going to talk about shows too. Shows that we've been to this weekend. It was an exciting weekend of music and friends and dancing and you know, gosh, I don't know. We met like so many great awesome new people. musicians this weekend. Absolutely. So, um, let's see. Where should we start? I know. Um, well, so um, I think uh, beverages are in order. It is uh, Sunday fun day after all. So, maybe we could start with our delicious cocktail. Yeah. So, this week I was looking up different um, like cocktail recipes that were Valentine's Day. And pretty much everything includes strawberries. Hi, so Elvis. Hey, all this. Um, so um, that being said, I personally love strawberries and what goes better with strawberries than chocolate. Yep. Which led me down the rabbit hole of like chocolate covered strawberry martini, which <laughs> I started to like look up the recipes and it's, they're all pretty much um, really basic. They're basically like some kind of flavored vodka, strawberries, um, and uh, you know, just pretty basic like mar martini ingredients, Hi, but Jerry. more dessert, like chocolate vodka <laughs> or vanilla vodka or, um, you know, um, Basically, like vodka. Hi, Jen. Um, <laughs> hi, guys. Um, it's like romper room in here. Hello. I see Elvis. I see Jerry. I see um, Jennifer. <laughs> so, um, you know, I didn't want to make just like a basic <clears throat> martini type cocktail or a dessert cocktail. I wanted to do something kind of special because the focus on wine, women, and song is we try every week to feature a uh, locally or regionally made alcohol. Yes. Um, and so to that end, I started looking around for different vodkas and um, it had been suggested a couple times. We've got some fans out there. I am a fan. <laughs> <laughs> she loves it. Um, so this is the Tahoe Blue Vodka and it's all frosty because mm -hmm. Um, I had it in the freezer uh, so that it would be nice and icy, icy yes. cold when we went to make our cocktail. So Bubble it's blue. extremely smooth. I guess so it's an, smooth. Yes, industry um, award winning type of vodka. Uh, this is fun. Oh, yeah. Hork. Oh, that's amazing. Should I do it again? Yes, we like, I like that it. sound. <laughs> that means party, right? That's what that sound means. Party in a bottle. So, um, and then I started thinking mm. okay, so we have vodka. What else can we put with vodka that would be delicious? Um, so of course we have, uh, you know, some strawberries, which are coming into season right now and, uh, the internet's a wonderful thing and you can learn how to, it's very simple. It's not that true. <laughs> Make little heart shape, heart shaped <laughs> strawberries, um, for your cocktail garnish, or you can mm -hmm. muddle them in your beverage. Um, if you have like a muddler, you could use that. And then also another local ingredient, Vanna, if you would, she's our Vanna White. So, um, this Ghirardelli chocolate, who doesn't love that? Like, it's an amazing, <laughs> delicious, I went with the intense dark. Yeah. I really like a dark so chocolate. Good. Especially, it's a nice contrast with mm -hmm. the uh, strawberries. So, <laughs> so also regional, <laughs> also locally made. And then to Hi, go... Hi, Amy. Hi, guys. Um, to go with that, this is on every, like, every shelf everywhere right now, because it's almost Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. But this is Bailey's Irish Cream, Strawberries and Cream. Um... I thought I would hate it. I, I'm not really like a huge girly foo foo sweet sweet drink. I like red wine and whiskey typically. Um, but I thought, you know, it's Valentine's Day. Tis the season. We'll give it a whirl. So um, the strawberries and cream. It does not taste anything like regular Bailey's. It's not an Irish cream. Mm -hmm. It literally tastes like my favorite beverage from when <laughs> I was little. Uh, strawberry quick. That's what it tastes like, except with booze. So it's extra lish. Yeah, um, extra yummy. So I put those components together. It's not really a cocktail that I found online, but it is delicious. And we were kicking around names. And I was like, well, vodka in half and half, it's kind of like a white Russian. So it's not a white Russian because there's no Kahlua. So we decided to call it White Girl Wasted. It's White Girl it's Wasted. White Girl Wasted. So um, it is delicious. We love that name, though. We, <laughs> we do. Men, make your gals a white girl wasted. She'll be so impressed. <laughs> 
It's your girl's white girl waist. With a heart-shaped strawberry. Look at what Eva did. Look at her. She's so Martha. Check it out. Got the heart-shaped little garnish and got a little chocolate, chocolate. Ghirardelli rim right here. So mm. this is going to be fantastic. So we wanted to make this for you um, today. Mm -hmm. So it's very easy. You're just going to go ahead and grab a couple ice cubes. And don't drop them on the counter. Don't drop them on the counter. <laughs> or, you know, maybe you, maybe you do want to. I don't know. <laughs> maybe you want to use that ice later for something. Mm. I don't know. Okay, so we're going to start off with a little bit of ice here. And then um, <clears throat> next. I'm just going to add a little splash of half and half. I should hold it up. <laughs> See, half and half. Yum. Get that dairy fat, girl. <laughs> Yummy. Okay. And you can, you know, you can like vary this recipe according to your own personal taste. Mm -hmm. We have discovered that the Tahoe uh, Blue, while it is extremely smooth and you could drink it totally straight, you would want to use a lot of ice. Um, and you would want to really kind of... Uh, let it mellow a little bit because it's it's powerful stuff. It's good yep. stuff. Mm -hmm. So um, we'll go ahead and give that a little pour next. So ready? Mm -hmm. <gasps> Woo! Okay. A little glug, glug, glug of our Tahoe Blue. <laughs> so exciting. Yes. Breakfast. Yes. It is breakfast. <laughs> mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, and then mm -hmm. um, we're going to do the Baileys now. And again, you can just according to taste. It is sweet. It's like a strawberry <laughs> milk situation. Jen, we wish you were here. Maybe we'll see you at Sack Yard later. Yeah. Music at two. Music at two with Sack yeah. Sappenor, some down and dirty 1920s blues. Yep. Awesome. I'll mention it Hi, again Tara and, and George. invite you to go. So we just did a you know quick pour of that. And, and then, then add some chocolate. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add, um, this is grated Ghirardelli, the dark chocolate. But you know, again, you could use whatever you like to use. And I like to just go ahead and drop it right into the glass. And then mm -hmm. Eva is going to give that a nice stir with the ice. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Mm. We'll see Cheers. how strong this is. Oh boy, <laughs> white girl wasted. Oh, my strawberry just fell. <laughs> you almost made a basket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm, that's so yummy. <laughs> that is really good. So good. So it's, it's chocolate, strawberries, <clears throat> it's cream. It's All the delicious. things that are delicious and necessary for So we'll be drinking food. and talking. I just want to eat Shop. this. Is that bad? No, just eat it. <laughs> mm. Oh, so good. Right? I say drop some strawberries in your glass. Yeah, we'll I just did that. Yeah, absolutely. It'll oh. be yummy. So oh, what do we good. want to start with? Do we want to kind of start? So our drink's made and we're going to talk shop now, I guess. Yes. So... Well, <clears throat> I think if we're honest, we want to talk about last night. Yeah. Let's start out with uh, about last night. <laughs> oh, my God. That show at the Courage Club. Thank you, Elvis, for bringing Josh. I know. Um, I I've been dying yeah. to see Josh again because I saw him at the um, Western Swing Out uh, last year in Tehachapi, and I was, like, so impressed. Mm. And I'm like, I need to see him more, but he doesn't live here. But our good friend, good friend Elvis Cantu. Makes magic happen. Oh, he's friends with Josh. And yeah, it happened finally. I know. There, he did two shows this weekend. One in Truckee. Yes. And then last night at the Torch Club. If you weren't there, I'm sorry. I know I videoed a little. I Facebook Live a little. Mm -hmm. But I was dancing and, and you know, swooning. Pretty much. Definitely <laughs> a lot of swooning. Yes. Um, but you can catch a lot of the video also on this uh, on our YouTube channel, which yes. is Wine, Women, and Song. Mm -hmm. So um, definitely, if you haven't done so yet, please do go to YouTube, find us on there, and subscribe. Because um, you'll see every week uh, music videos. Yep. You're going to see our weekly episode. Hi, so, Corey. Hi, mm -hmm. Corey. So you'll definitely want to do that. Um, check us out on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel. Um, and uh, get get hip with some really good music. But, so there's going to be some good clips of last night. But mm -hmm. what I, if I had to sum up the show, I would say, uh, and I did already say it to Elvis, but it was like, it was like a festival packed into like one night of music because there were so many talented players. You know, Zach and uh, uh, Matt Codina and Elvis, of course, and Josh. I mean, it was just, it was just such a good mix of. Styles and genres and mm -hmm. songs mm -hmm. and kept the place really moving and grooving. It was amazing. Packed, packed dance floor. Packed super dance floor. Super cool. Super cool. Yeah. So thanks to all the players. Thanks for taking yeah. a chance on Sacramento again. <laughs> I always have to say thank you because I feel like we're not worthy. 
but it was so really fun. So Elvis and Josh are both Wild Records recording artists, and I was one of two of the luckiest people to get a CD last night. Yay! Yay! <laughs> um, I listened to this today, and let me tell you, live is amazing, but this CD is so great, and I hope to hear it played um, because I know the other person that bought it is the dance instructor for Saptown Swings. Johnny? So yeah, Johnny Ochoa. Shout out. So um, I hope to hear it played there. This, mm -hmm. I mean, it's so danceable. The whole it, and set, it's so great. He does. And, yeah. Yes. I mean, this <laughs> CD is amazing. And don't get me wrong, live is 100%, a bazillion percent better. So magic. But the CD, if you don't have it, go to Wild Records. I think you would go yeah. to Wild Records and download it or um, buy it. Or if you see Josh at a show, hopefully he has some CDs with him, um, pick one up. It's yeah. amazing. And because um, our friend um, Elvis uh, brought him to us, um, what an angel. Um, this is Indeed. Elvis's uh, last CD. Recording, he does have yeah. a new one coming out soon. He just keeps saying soon, so I'm, I don't know when it's going to drop, but I can't wait to hear it, and this CD is amazing as well. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm so glad that I got one of these. Yeah. So, um, Wild, Wild Records. Records, yeah, mm -hmm. you can get these on Wild Records, or if you come out to a show, you can... Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Woo, you Records. can um you well, know you pick them go, up you should just go shopping on that website yeah anyway. just honestly you can't you, you anything that you pick on there is going to be a winner yeah so, yeah. I so mean, many have, good musicians they, yeah they have so much good stuff yeah. but like i mean it's really that is the pulse of uh, like i just have to say even though we didn't see him like this is one of my faves jimmy dale and the belt lines um this is also on wild records love this guy um so yeah Wild records. So good. Yeah. Yay. So yeah, magic show last night. Magic with just amazing players and, and yeah. good, good times. Absolutely. Josh is um, really great. Um, he's a great person. He's into history. Um, he's going to move here. He is going to move here. We're going to want him. him to move here. <laughs> We're going to make it happen. And uh, Matt Codina, like an amazing guitarist. Um and man, and man, so sweet and so, so good rockin', and so, so rockin', rockin', yeah. So um, he's going to be um, doing a residency with um, Eddie Clendenning in um, Las Vegas starting in April. It's like a couple mm -hmm. of days before Viva is when they have their first show. Um, it's we might at, just it's at one of there. the fancy hotels on the Strip, <laughs> yeah. um, the Ar Aria or something like that, Aria or something. Um, I've been there once for like a club night and mm -hmm. it, whatever. It's it's a fancy, fancy place. Like mm -hmm. not somewhere I'd normally stay. <laughs> we like um, and um, so there, he's going to be doing that for about a year. Um, and congrats. we're going to miss that's him. Yeah, and congratulations. That's, that's a big to deal. Him. And getting Eddie. paid as, as a musician yeah. is, uh, you know, it's not easy to do. So not congrats easy. on that yes. for sure. So um, we're excited for him and Eddie. Um, and anyway, so that show was amazing. And we did have, um, Bacon Fest on, um, Friday, Friday night with Diana and the Cherry Kings. And you can also see those videos, uh, here on mm -hmm. our YouTube. If you're not on yep. YouTube, if you're on Facebook, come to the YouTube, check out the videos or um, on Instagram. If you like your ladies like this <laughs> and you like, yes. um, really rocking rockabilly cats, uh, Diana and the Cherry Kings got yes. going on. So Definitely check them out, see those videos, support them, and we'll just say it again because we're going to say it every week until it happens. Sammy Awards, which is our yeah. local regional um, awards for musicians here in Sacramento area, um, is coming up, and she's been nominated for uh, the Rockabilly category. So yeah. please, please go to sammys.com and vote for Diana and the Cherry Kings. Yes, so that show was great, and the mm -hmm. dance floor was packed, and I Super packed. think she gained like a lot more fans um, for sure that are and not... shout out to Guido for putting that whole yeah, lineup together. Thank you. Thank there were some you. bands that, that like were on. It was it was a really nice mix of rock and roll, country, rockabilly, yeah. um, even a little bluegrassy country situation going yeah. on. It was a beautiful mix of music, so you weren't ever bored. Like if you know yeah. what I mean, you it just the whole night flowed. It was a really um, welcoming kind of an environment for I feel like for the musicians and for the people. Yeah, because. It was like, and I love. It reminds me of the old days when, like, you would go to a show and there might be a psychobilly with a ska band, with a rockabilly band, with a metal band, and they're all in the same bill. And it was that kind of a flavor where 
you really had that sense of like, we all love music and it yep. doesn't matter what kind. And yep. just like, so shout out to Guido because mm. what a great lineup. That it was, was really, a really lineup. fun. Yeah. Yeah. And um, my friends, um, the Roe Brothers bands, uh, band performed and they're also Sammy nominated. Um, yeah, so yeah, them. vote for them. Um, they did a great job and they did a couple of uh, Bowie like songs that were I so the whole thing of Bacon Fest is like um it's I think Kevin, we just Kevin, Kevin Bacon, Bacon Fest, Fest because we have Bacon Fest in Sacramento, in Sacramento which Sacramento. is the food bacon but the Torch Club does Kevin Bacon Fest so you as a band come and perform songs from Kevin, Kevin Bacon, Bacon movies, movies. <laughs> It's very silly. It's very fun. It is. And it really kind of makes the bands kind of stretch out of their comfort zone. Absolutely. And, 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 yeah. it's, and it's fun and funny, too. It's like yeah. it's a fun yeah. show. So the Roe Brothers did great. And then we um, we uh, discovered uh, a new, like, a new love. Uh, Danny. Danny um, Morris and the California Stars. She's better with names than I am. <laughs> um, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, because I've been friends with Danny for a while, so I think they've played for a while, and I think I've seen them. I just haven't seen them recently. Right. Or maybe there was, like, a different incarnation. My memory could be a little foggy there. I'm not totally yeah. sure. But uh, Danny Morris is a badass. His bass player is a badass. They have beautiful harmonies. Mm -hmm. um, it's got, like, this kind of California country. Like, yeah, so good. This, um... It's definitely Americana, but also kind of rocking at the same time. Yeah. Super fun. Like, so very danceable good. and very entertaining. Yeah, very. So, <laughs> yeah, we'll be bringing them to you very soon. Yes, we, will. we are kind of in love with them right now love. as well. Yeah. Very impressed. But yeah, so. super fun night. All different kinds of music. Um, if you want to check it out, it'll happen, I'm sure, again next year. Thanks to yeah. Quito. Yeah, and, um, we like uh, we like to do different yeah. things. We are we just don't do you know rockabilly music per se. We mm -hmm. go out and see a, tons of shows. We try to support we go to shows so, so you, you don't, don't have, have to. to. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag yeah hashtag. <laughs> um, so that was a fun. It was a fun weekend, and and we're gonna continue today with some music over at Sack Yard. Um, right. So if you haven't been to Sack Yard. The gal who uh, books over there, her name is Sasha, and she um, also is a musician and has been in a few different mm -hmm. bands and um, very talented lady, knows her music, knows her stuff, and is so good at booking. Yeah. Really good entertainment over there. So if you haven't checked out Sack Yard yet, um, if you like craft brew and you like delicious food and fire pits and games and outdoors and dog friendly, um, by all means. Dog friendly and child friendly. <laughs> yes. Yes. For it's those that have... The children. Yes, <laughs> Los Niños. Um, but it's really a fun, fun place. So we're going to check that out today. Um, as we mentioned before, uh, Zach Sapinor is um, going to be playing some 1920s style blues. Mm -hmm. I'm about mm -hmm. that. I can't wait to see it. Yeah, it's going to be, be fun. fun. He's always entertaining and fun to watch. Yes. So. so <laughs> should we do um, restaurants? Yes. So the um, theme of this episode, obviously, we're, we're sticking with the Valentine's Day theme and we were talking about um, sort of promoting some of the good stuff that we have in the area mm -hmm. um, that you might want to take a date on or, you know, maybe you just want um, a date night. Maybe you're already with somebody. Maybe you're trying to impress somebody on a first date. So we we're trying to come up with like, where is the best and the coolest, according to us? And, mm -hmm. you know, we have the best opinion, mm -hmm. so you should listen to us. Listen to us. Um, but, <laughs> so there's a couple different places here in Sacramento that we absolutely love. And um, so we kind of came up with, like, our top five. Mm -hmm. So um, if you're new to the area or maybe you just, you know, haven't been to a lot of uh, restaurants and clubs and stuff, um, we go to clubs so you don't have to. Yeah. And restaurants <laughs> so you don't have to. Um, and so we've compiled and this little food list together. And booze. Food and booze. Food and booze. And what and else music. is there? Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. yes. Okay. So um, we came up with, like... A couple different things. We were trying to keep it sort of economical or sort of mm -hmm. not necessarily like cheap, but conservative where you could go and not maybe blow your entire paycheck kind of a mm -hmm. deal. Um, but the top five that we came up with are number five slot. They're in that slot kind of because it is a little pricier, but super beautiful, romantic, delicious. Yes, good. delicious, yummy food. Um, so that's Biba. Yeah. Um, and that's located midtown. Mm -hmm. um, pricey. But fun. Yeah, so good. Italian uh, Italian um, food. Um, I guess they're really known for their lasagna Thursday. <laughs> I, I guess their that. lasagna is like amazing, amazing. and it mm. sells out every mm. time. Um, but I have had a birthday dinner there. A friend took me um, 
JC, thank you, mm -hmm. um, a couple years ago, and it was really a cool experience. Um, you know, it's a dressy place. Mm -hmm. uh, he wore a suit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so, you know, you want to kind of fancy it up, but it is a great... Um, uh, it's a romantic spot if you want to just fancy schmancy, you know, go ahead and impress splurge. your lady yes. or hey, yes. ladies, bring your man. It's uh, yeah. I mean, the times are boy, changing. They like it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, so that that's a good place. That's um a, a great place to check out. Uh, and then um one of my picks. I just went there for my birthday. It's really good. Oh, I think I got a little look at that little chocolate or something on there. Sorry. Um, <laughs> check out uh if you want like a really beautiful view and you like a vintage vibe like we do. Mm -hmm. Um, I would recommend uh, the Delta King, and the Delta King is a old river boat that has got a hotel in it and it's stationed. Uh, permanently there in in mm -hmm. old Sacramento river views gorgeous like old wood and I mean it's a boat and it's on the water it's really romantic but it's the a food, steam used to be a steam yeah, boat, right like an old river boat yeah. yeah um really good food good cocktails good wine list mm -hmm. really good service in, that the I've dessert had. looked delicious very good <laughs> yeah I'm all you about like the desserts. chocolate um, so yeah, check that out. That's a good place to go. Um, it's a little on the spendy side, not as expensive as Biba, but still, yeah. you know, manageable, doable for a Valentine's date um, or date night, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, good place to go. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of our next pick. And then there's Eva's little joint. I love this place. I love the food there. It cha it's always changing. It's a farm to fork. Uh, they make specialty cocktails. And this year they were, um, this Christmas they were... Uh, uh, asked to participate in um, a pop-up uh, Christmas uh, bar type deal, which I guess is a big thing for bars. Like, if you are asked to participate in this um, pop-up thing, it's like a big deal. They give you all the glassware and, and you serve certain cocktails, so they have to learn how to make those cocktails. It was a really fun time, and it's like Christmas threw up in the, 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 the restaurant or bar or whatever. Yeah. Um, it was crazy. Their drinks um, were so good at Christmas. So yummy. They probably have some really good Valentine's drinks. Yeah, probably. I'm just guessing. Whoever's behind the bar back there, their yeah. desserts, they make really, really good cocktails. So I go to Red Rabbit. I take myself out to dinner um, every year, and I go to Red Rabbit. I take myself. I normally spend, because I sit there for a long time, and I do, um, you know, a salad and a couple of glasses of wine or beer, whatever I'm feeling like that day. Um, I do... Uh, the uh, the main dish and then I'll do a dessert and um, I normally take myself out for a good hundred dollar meal mm. with booze. It's not that expensive. You can spend a hundred dollars um, together, mm -hmm. maybe a little over. But this place again, um, they have small bites. I also get appetizers. I'm a pig. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> <laughs> but I love to eat and it's my dinner and it's my birthday and I can do what I want. So anyway, I take myself Might out well. and this place is amazing. And like I said, the menu's um, changing with the season. Um, yeah, yes, seasonal but, foods, um, yeah. special food, special cocktails, seasonal yeah, cocktails. Absolutely. So fun in there. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's got a pretty good ambiance. Like for me personally, I feel like um, it is a little like on the loud side, like it's a little open and it can be a little bit loud in there because it gets, it's popular. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it is, it's, it's fun. It is a good date night place and as it's well. Really, it's yeah. a great location in Midtown. So like, you know, you could like swing by and go to Rick's Dessert Diner. Yeah. Or little... if you want to go to a show, you can have dinner right or cocktails there. there. Near the go Sophia, to Harlow. Near the Harlow. Sophia. Yeah. Very close to yeah. a lot of um, good venues and, and other little destinations if you're doing a midtown night. Yeah. But that's my pick. I mean, I really love that place. And this is my, this is number two. And this is also my pick. Um, it's Arthur so Henry's. So I love it too. And here's a weird story. She goes to Arthur Henry's. All I go the to time. Arthur Henry's. We haven't been together. <laughs> I know, weird, huh? That is so weird. We so have to weird. make that happen. We're yeah, going we to make it happen. happen. Who did we tell we were going to bring to that? Who were we talking to? We're like, we're taking you to Arthur Henry's. I think it was I last night. Remember. I can't remember. It was a really important conversation, obviously. Clearly. But yeah, the place is so cool. It's in Oak Park, um, which is, as most people who live here know, it's just exploding over there. So it's off of 2nd uh, Avenue and Broadway, right mm -hmm. on the corner. It used to be... Primo's, uh, that's right, something, um, 
it was just a dive, a, just like a dirty dive bar, which was awesome. <laughs> and now it's amazing. And I mm -hmm. think we've talked about this place before. It's kind of like you walk in, it's dark and um, vintage inspired. Very, uh, but you like feel like the mafia is like sitting in the corner somewhere. It, yeah, there could be some Honestly, shady. yeah. It's that kind of place. Somebody's but it's gonna, so cool. Yeah. The bartenders are all really cool. Um, it's all chicks. Like, I think there's one guy, mm -hmm. but the gals are so, so, so cool. nice. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's where I go when I want to go have a drink by myself, when I just need to be alone in my own thought. Yeah, it's extremely um, peaceful. Yeah. And, and what I mean is, like, I think because it's dark, it's soothing. Yeah. You know, the little booths are kind of like, you can have, like, a little privacy yeah. kind of a feeling. So, like, if you want to go with somebody and really have a good conversation, mm -hmm. hang out, talk, um, they also are really unique because you cook your own food. You cook your, well, so it's like a, a supper club. They call it a supper club, but it's, uh, you have a list of, like, steaks, meats. Um, they do have vegetarian options as well. Um, if you're a vegan, I don't know if you'd want to go there because... <laughs> They do have like a uh, portobello mushroom and veggie skewers, but I don't know if you want to cook your. It's all about stuff that red that meat. meat. It's all about yeah. the steak. So it's like a a meat, uh, whatever cut you want, and then you're gonna get a salad with that and bread, a garlic bread, and then you can order extras on the side. And they mm -hmm. do have a surf and turf. Um, it's it's super fun and it's super fun to experiment like you know you're a girl you're like i don't know what i'm doing with this steak or whatever oh can you help me with this <laughs> yeah what yeah that's what she would do i'm just like oh, oh it's super bloody i'll just eat it whatever <laughs> so um anyway um it's super fun place um their jukebox is amazing mm. um it's all free they have like so much music in there and every friday they have like a lounge act which like is, a duo or a trio, yeah, something um, kind of small and yeah. yeah sometimes there's intimate. horns. It's but it's like from eight to ten. I'm trying to get my friend um, Shadalak and uh, Diana, Diana to do a little lounge act out there. Um, so get it together, Shadalak. <laughs> so Make it happen. Um, Make it yeah, happen. so it's a cool place. If you haven't been there, go there. Like I said, the the gals behind the bar are awesome, and if you like to you know eat steak. Hey, it's a perfect place. Mm -hmm. well, ambiance all the is marks. Rad. Yeah, the ambiance is good. Music is good. <clears throat> Service is good. Food is good. Like cocktails mm. are good. Like it's it's it hits all the marks. It's a good. And place. you can take your secret dates there. Secret. Nobody will ever know. No one will know. You're not gonna run into anybody. <laughs> you will not run into You're anybody. Not see anybody you don't want to see. <laughs> That's why I go there when I'm by myself because it is you know super super secret squirrel. Yeah. So, and then this is our number one, number uh, our one, number, number one. one, yeah. Always our top pick. Yes. Always our top pick. Yes. You know what we're going to say. Shady Lady. Shady Lady. Yes. yes. So, so good. <laughs> so good. Music, good food, good cocktails. Good uh, service. Yeah. Uh, like, I don't, honestly, like, if you're going on a date, I don't necessarily recommend showing up on Saturday after 10 p.m. because you will not get a beverage for at least an hour. You're not going to get a place to sit. <laughs> You're going to stand and wait at the front door probably because, I mean, sometimes it just gets so packed up in yeah. there depending on who's uh, playing right. um, and who's there. It just gets really packed up. So my pick for Shady Lady, my all-time favorite Shady Lady experience is Sunday morning. You go for brunch. You have a delicious mimosa. I like a grapefruit mimosa there. Um, mm. The brunch, I mean, it's like amazing. And it's like a like nobody knows about it. Like yeah, so it's good. pretty. It's pretty quiet. Yeah, like it's peaceful. Mm -hmm. I usually will just sit right at the bar, um, and like I said, the drinks are always good. You get excellent service because it's not as packed up. But that is a great <laughs> pick. Jen is like my favorite place, Secret Squirrel. <laughs> That's my favorite place, girl. Secret Squirrel. Go to Arthur Henry's. <laughs> okay. So we love that place, and we mm. love the Boggs. We love the Boggs for making. Yes. Yeah, so Jason um, Boggs is. Uh, He's one of the owners, and he's been a friend of mine since I was like, I don't know, like in my, like 19 or 20. Mm -hmm. um, he used to be in a band called Filibuster. If you're old like me and her, you would know this band. Um, they were like a ska band. Mm -hmm. um, so fun. They played a lot in the um, They were extremely the huge. In the 80s and 90s. <laughs> anyway. So a couple of years ago. Yeah. Yeah. What am I talking about? Oh my about? God. <sighs> Okay. Um, so 
anyway, uh, he is a big supporter of live music. So he does um, bring a lot of live music to uh, Shady Lady. Mm -hmm. um, well, he has a he has a someone that does it for him. But I mean, he makes sure that music is he always takes care of musicians. In, and yes, amen to that. Yes. Amen to that. Amazing. Like, you know, I mean, it, I, I, I sound like a broken record. It's hard to get paid as a musician yeah. in Sacramento. Uh -huh. Yeah. But Jason Boggs, because I think because of his music background, gets it, mm -hmm. recognizes mm -hmm. it, and takes care of people. So we appreciate Jason. And who wants to listen to a crowd? Crappy jukebox and listen to Beyonce and Jay Z and watch a crappy, night. stupid sports bar. Yeah, nobody uh, wants that. Nobody I don't wants want that. that. I don't want it either. Yeah, so that's so, we love it. We love it. We love and it. And he also has a, a part uh, ownership in a cool dive bar. Just yeah, because, that's kind of an offshoot. Like yeah, um, the that's B not on our list, but we love these. Yeah, it's like uh, right by Shady Lady, like a block away, and yeah, you can stumble over there. After they have a lot. <laughs> yeah, after brunch, yeah. They have live music. Uh, I mean, uh, not live music. Sorry. Um, they have a uh, re record uh, spinner. Spin yeah, so it's DJs. like vinyl themed. It's yeah. vinyl themed, so it's all records. B all the time. sides of vinyl records. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, and you never know what you're gonna get, which I love. I love a spontaneous like. You walk in and it's like, what the heck? Yeah. You know, and the DJs are really eclectic. He's got a good so rotation. Good. We just met this really cool cat like a couple weeks ago. This young, young guy that had like a great music collection. And wow, you I never know. know baby, and he was all into like vintage country. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> how do you really know about this stuff? You know, and he looked like yeah. a kid that goes to Sac State or something. Yeah, like, or high school. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe high school. I don't know. So Adorable. anyway, that's our, that's like a kind of an offshoot, like, or, you know, if you are like, kind of like going on a date on any night and you guys get finished and you want to just go have cocktails and don't want to sit there in the shady, go over to B-side. It's a great uh, little uh, place to just mm -hmm. have a quick drink or whatever, or meet someone after work or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. And it's also, it's a good location. Yeah. There's decent parking over there. That used to it's be fun. the Monte Carlo. Which was Ew. not so desirable. Which is like you walked into a Bukowski book. <laughs> like, so now yeah. it's way better. Like, we it's love it. Better. I mean, yeah, yeah. don't get me wrong. I have been in the Monte Carlo quite a few times in my life. Oh, I went there and walked right out. It was a little scary for me. I thought I was, yeah. <laughs> so those are our top five restaurant picks for Valentine's Day or just any other day random night. day. Like, Valentine's Day should be every day, people. <laughs> Not just one and day then out of the year. Laughed and laughed <laughs> and laughed. Yes, of course. Um, so, but we should also <clears throat> say we wanted to add to our list, which is not on our top five, but it's also a cool place. Um, you know, maybe you've already been together for a while, so you're not trying to impress anybody. But we love in Old Sacramento, the, the backdoor back lounge. <laughs> That's also secrets, secret squirrel. Secret squirrel <laughs> shit. If you want to like just go and hang out just alone and you don't want anybody to know you're out. You know, or you're whatever. cheating on your wife. You or know. whatever, or your husband. I've seen some liaison <laughs> there. <laughs> we're not, we are not no condoning. Judge. No judge. She, <laughs> no judge. We are not condoning cheaters. No, we do not do that we here. Just, we just kick him to the curb. It's okay. So... <clears throat> This is a cool spot. It's literally in an alley, people. The yeah. coolest place ever. It's way bitchin'. It, yeah. it feels, it is secret squirrel shit. It's yeah. like, what? Yeah. Where am I? I think I love it too because it feels like, um, you know, maybe you're not even in Sacramento. I love those places. I know that sounds yeah. kind of bad. Not that I really hate Sacramento, but like, it's fun when you go somewhere and you're transported to somewhere else is I guess what I mean. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you're like it's like a head change. It's and, also kind of like that, like, whole, like, is there a mafia dude going to walk in this totally. place? Totally. So back to our lounge, it's got like the velvet wallpaper. Mm -hmm. that's and it vintage. has a room that I guess used to be a special party room that they keep like roped off. And it's like all like, oh, what's going on back there? Who's back there? Someone laundering money back there? There's what's a dude who's on? 105 serving you <laughs> real deal, super strong martinis. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's crazy. They don't have a, a great uh, beer on tap selection. Uh, they have like it's old school. Sierra Nevada, like super Sierra old school. Nevada and like Olympia, I think. Mm -hmm. But they do have some okay bottled beer. And do if they you're still a drink, have the, do they their still drinks have the are strong there? and cheap. Do they, they do have box? a jukebox. Mm -hmm. I was there with a friend of mine and um, there was an, a, a, 
people were playing like all the modern R&B and whatever. And then like some random psychobilly band from the 80s came on. And I can't remember right now off the top of my head, but I was like, where did this come from? Like, I remember that. Mm -hmm. And it was like, this is old. And then I kind of looked up the band and I was like, yeah, this is like from 85 people. Like country and, and R&B modern. And then, and then it's like some weird in 1985 Random. psychobilly band. I was like, it. yeah, it was super cool. And the owner, she's a, you know, an older woman. Um, she still um, rolls in there sometimes and has, has cocktails. Mm -hmm. So it's a fun yeah, place. It's a I mean, place. middle of the day, day drinking, if you want to go to like a dark, cold cave, you know, that's really got a lot of ambiance. That's a good place or secret squirrel date. It's a good place. So back to our lounge. That's an old Sacramento check yes. out for sure. Yes. Good absolutely. times. Good times. Okay. So, so we have like about 20 minutes ish okay. left in this cast. Um, I thought it would be fun to talk about, um, our favorite romantic songs. Like I wanted to do like a top five for each of us and talk about like why we like the song or, you know, and I didn't get a list together, so I'm just going to wing it. She's and I'll probably it. say, I like this song, but I don't know who sings it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I can help. Or Possibly. I like this, um, me, you know, musician for romance. Mm -hmm. um, the whole album is really you good. Know, just the voice is good. Oh, like, now see, that's a whole other episode, baby making music, right? We could like oh, do a whole thing about it. I think like, I'll do some baby making music today. Oh, chick a bow -wow. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. I like yeah. it. So, um, yeah, I put together a top five list. Some people didn't do their homework. I'm a slacker. Because I was partying all weekend. We did. We did. <laughs> it's been very fun. And I was busy being sick Ooh. this last week. Oh, that's true. So... When you drinks, said busy, yeah, I got all, you know, Ooh. busy being sick. Yeah, yeah. I was busy being sick. <laughs> <laughs> so I put together a list, um, and it's kind of all over the place a little bit, but I think these are kind of like some of my favorite songs. I mean, I'm not like a huge, sappy, romantic kind of song, kind of a gal, and so... But there's just songs that's like, oh, I love that song. Oh, it also happens to be kind of a cushy love song. Okay. Um, I guess I'll say... Not really on my list and not in any kind of particular order, but kind of pretty much anything by Sinatra. Oh, super yeah. sexy, mm -hmm. super hot. Isn't like, that kind of baby making music? Could be. Yeah, yeah. I think so. I think so. I would make a baby. Um, so that. I'll just like, he gets like the honorable mention, like the backdoor lounge. <laughs> Sinatra all day, Sinatra all night. Um, so love that. And then um, I love the song Blue Moon, and it kind of doesn't matter who does oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like every version. Mm -hmm. I think they're all good. Diana, let me hear your version. Yes. Come on, oh. Cherry Kings, rock that it out. Could be, that could be kind of, that could be good for them, I think. <laughs> so yeah, I love that song. Um, and then in the top four, um, we have uh, my next pick, which is um, I Walk the Line by Johnny Cash, which is so basic and it kind of hurts me to even say it, but because it's Johnny Cash, like, oh, duh, everybody loves Johnny Cash. Yeah. But it, that the lyrics of that are just so, uh, I guess so when good. you hear that, though, you're more like on a more partier like up. yeah okay so it's not like a necessarily a make out kind of a song yeah it's not like a but you're just saying like song. The, lyrics just the lyrics are, are super delish. like okay. Oh, okay. Oh, like josh sorheim oh. <laughs> okay so it's like that so johnny cash and and i walk the line like i mean i know it's it's basic and i'm just saying. gonna say back to josh you're welcome sacramento whoever was out last night you're welcome yeah because i've been begging elvis true and i am so appreciate him here, but you're here I'll do it for you. Yay! <laughs> you're the best in the West. Um, and it, yeah, we did. I mean, me, you, Faustine, we were all like, yes, make it happen, yes, please. Make we'll it do what we can. And it did. So thank you, Elvis, again. Um, okay, so number three, um, I picked Dream a Little Dream of Me. Mm. And I think that there's probably more than a few versions of that song, but I mm -hmm. really like, I really like the recording with Mama Cass. Okay. I think that's really romantic. Like, it's really ethereal the way they've recorded it. It's kind of got that echo. It's all soft. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, really mm -hmm. pretty. Okay. I think that's like, yeah. That's a good song. Though. I like that one. Yeah. And it's so cute. Like, that song is adorable. Um, and then my number two spot, I love almost anything by Louis Prima. Oh, yeah. Good. Louis Prima's yeah. my man. He's my man. Now deceased, but he's my man. <laughs> I love, and I love his sound. Like, I love. Yeah. Everything he did, like I love Louis Prima, but um, I'm probably saying it wrong. But Bonacetta, that song, like I love that song. I love that song. That's good. It makes that me feel good. good makes me happy every yeah. single time I hear it. So that one's yes. Mm -hmm. And then my number one, Ooh. my top pick. We should do feel good songs. 
Okay. For, no, we're going to do that. Yeah. And you know, we're open to your suggestions also. <laughs> we are we open say. to your suggestions. We're, this is a work sure. in progress. This is two silly girls who like cocktails and music, and mm -hmm. we're making a little webisode, and we appreciate you for watching. <laughs> yeah, we appreciate you. your input. So for say sure. where, just before you do your one, say yeah. where they can find us. Oh, yeah. So once again, you can <clears> find <throat> us on Instagram. Instagram is at Wine, Women, and Song Gals. Mm -hmm. So that's our Instagram. It's thrilling. We have clips of videos, pictures of us with different musicians, upcoming shows, flyers. Because I'm always like, can I have a selfie? Because we're those <laughs> girls. We are yes. those girls. Um, but yeah, so find us definitely on Instagram. If you haven't followed, follow us for sure yes. there. Um, of course, here on the YouTube, mm -hmm. which again is Wine, mm -hmm. Women, and Song. So you can find it really easy, mm -hmm. Wine, Women, and Song. Um, we are also, uh, I've had, we were trying to do like an audio podcast on Podbean. I've had a lot of technical issues with that. And we've been told <sighs> people that like the visuals. The visuals. Um, because we're uh, uh, like, I'll say it. I know sometimes I'm a little animated. Um, Not but, me. I'm subtle. But we also want to so, show when we're talking about cocktails, we want to tell, show you what we're, you know, making, yep. what we're using. And when we have, you know, artists that we're featuring, and ultimately, yeah. we want to do like interviews and have musicians come in and maybe like if Josh Storheim was right here right now and he could have his guitar and play a little song. Yeah, like, absolutely. We're looking to do stuff like that. So if you'd like yeah. to be featured, um, if you have a product that you'd like to be featured, we're definitely open to that. So no more podcasts because we want to... I think we're just sticking for now with the YouTube. And we're doing point. a little Facebook Live because we want to get it out there and we know that a lot of our friends uh, are, on, are Facebook. on Facebook. But so. come over to the dark side. Yeah. It's on YouTube. <laughs> it's fun. Um, yeah. So those are where you can find us for now. Who knows? That could all change. But we have yeah. a lot of exciting things coming up too. We have some like amazing events coming up we have some things that we're going to be doing um for this for this webisode so mm -hmm. um stick around because it's going to be fun it's going to get better and better and better and feel good songs are coming next that's right next episode maybe stuff that makes you shake your booty yeah i like that mm -hmm. our next thing okay what's happening next week like hmm, i don't know yeah we gotta think on that yeah we'll to have to be announced yep. people mm -hmm. um so i guess i'll go ahead and my favorite 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 romantic song of all time and it's like you know, I listen to 50s on 5 in my car, and I put it on, and when that song comes on, I'm just like, oh, that you just sang that. <laughs> that is hilarious. Cocktails. I absolutely, like, it's White just, girl wasted. White girl wasted. <laughs> it floors me every time. It's one of those songs that's just like, it's like a punch in the gut, and then, like, you feel it up here, and it's just like, <gasps> mm, like, so good. Um, and it's just been a favorite forever, forever and ever, but I love, I only have eyes. For you. Yeah. Love by the Flamingos. <laughs> it's like, I mean, when that comes on, that beginning part of the song. We're not singers, people. No. <laughs> <laughs> we let you sing so we don't have to. <laughs> exactly. No. no. Um, <sighs> but it is just, that's that's my top, like, mm, yeah, mm, good. Mm, so good. Love, mm -hmm. love, love, love that song. So yeah. that's my top five. So I don't really have a top five, but I'm going to tell you, like, I. Um, I have been listening to a lot of Al Green lately. Oh, like, uh, like yes. that, like, you know, cook your gal or your guy a dinner and like throw on some Al Green. Like, Get seriously. Get the party started. I don't even know if you'll have dinner that night. <laughs> 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 well, now um, we know what works. <laughs> <laughs> and hello, Smokey Robinson. Mm. Love him that voice like oh, every yeah. time I hear him on the radio that's true or whatever I'm just like I'm listening to this song all the way mm -hmm. through like I don't care give me more shut so, up let me yeah. listen yeah yep. exactly and then um I've got to say like you know of course everyone loves Etta James like oh like yeah. her 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 voice is amazing and that's also like a good throw that on make a dinner I don't know the table may not Stuff stay happens. set <laughs> Might just flip that table. I don't know. And um, <clears throat> so let me think. Oh my gosh, because I'm I'm so unorganized. What's wrong with me? Because uh, <laughs> what a week it's been. What a week. It has been a crazy been. week. I mean, I did go to a sh uh, a show this week as well, even though I was not feeling well. 
um, but I still made it out uh, yeah. to see a, a friend's band, and it was good. It was like, I was like, wow, like, this is different, and mm -hmm. it was a little bit blues, a little bit rockabilly. I'm totally getting off subject, but that's what I do. Um, <laughs> right um, uh, They did uh, um, some, they had a harp player, like, Ooh, um, yummy. God, it was good. They were called the... Um, Pissed off for sin, brother. Yeah, kind of in love. I saw the video. I didn't get to go because it was a Wednesday night and Mama mm -hmm. has to work. But yeah. I saw the video. I had to work too. She rallies. And I like was a mofo. sick. She rallies. Like, <laughs> but I'm not a mom, though. Too. True story. True story. Yeah. Um, but yes, those pissed off for sin. Yeah. To be announced. Like, yeah. we're going to get those guys too. We yeah. I didn't guys. know um, what to expect, but I was really it's like, really it was good, fun. It was fun. Yeah. It's a really good mix of music. Yeah, absolutely. And they're very talented fellows. So I'm going to give you those three because I can't think of anything else right now off the top of my head. I have a lot, but I'm just kind mm -hmm. of, see, this is not blonde, but it is blonde. <laughs> Underneath. Underneath. Secret blonde. Secret, Secret squirrel blonde. blonde. Secret squirrel blonde. Oh my goodness. That's, that's so, the shade, actually. That's, and yeah. this is why, because I go off on a, a ramble about like music I've seen mm -hmm. and stuff. So, um, yeah, that's why I'm just like, I was unorganized. Mm -hmm. I'm doing stuff. I'm doing stuff. I do stuff all the time. Mm -hmm. Or I go to bed really early. And I'm catching up on my Game of Thrones. I mean, re-watching all of my Game of Thrones. So, yeah, oh. I couldn't be bothered with making a top five list. <laughs> She's busy. But um, I just want to say, I don't know if you are in Sacramento, but I am going to go to this show on... Um, Tuesday, February 12th. It's uh, a, 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 they're called Ila Bamba. Oh, yes. So I kind of um, am a little bit obsessed with this band. They're, it's a Latino, uh, like a Latino music, uh, funky. You've seen them like, before, right? Yeah, I've yeah. seen them quite a few times. Yeah. Um, funky and, um, uh, God, I don't know how to describe them. They're just amazing. And the, the oh. singer, uh, she's like gorgeous and amazing and yeah it's just i don't even know i'm gonna have fun i'm gonna post videos she'll put them on our um wine women and song it's not um our regular thing but i'm sure just like the roa brothers are not band are not our regular kind of music like we said we listen to everything mm -hmm. we'll go to punk shows we'll go to ska shows we'll go to whatever like we and we want to explore and see what's out there like totally. we never know if we're gonna like it yeah I, I do go to sometimes secret, don't tell anybody. I'm sure some of you guys, my friends, have seen my videos. Um, I do go to hip-hop clubs sometimes. <laughs> and you know what? <clears throat> the kids really love, the kids, because they are all kids. The kids really right. love um, seeing, like, the guys are so nice. The kid, the young men, they're like, you look so beautiful. I love that you're so put together. I think because they're used to like girls that just come out like braless in a spandex. You know, one, you, you know, we're unitar. talking, you know, the dudes are hearing this right now. They're like braless spandex. Oh, it's, but check. it's so like not this. attractive ladies. Come on girls. But to whom? Like, because obviously there's people who like it. There's people who like it or they wouldn't keep doing it. Right? But the kids are like, Hey, look at you're so well put it's together. True. And, like, and the girls too. So when we were at B side and um <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was R and B night, R and B <laughs> side, B night, R and B night. Well, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, at B side and uh we're hanging out in there and like I mean more than a few people were like <gasps> Because we look like magical unicorns, mm -hmm. you know, compared to like, I, well, or drag queens. I don't know. I think you are the drag queen. A little bit. That's all right. <laughs> That's okay. Like, listen, I, I like that. I, I love my inner drag queen. Yes, I, I love do it. too. I don't care. But, <laughs> um, but, you know, it is, it's like, oh my God, what just walked in, you know, because it is a lot of top knots and sweatpants and yeah. North Face jacket and... And uh, messy buns and, and yoga pants and Ugg boots. And, and that is like... Swollen oh. beer with the boys. Yeah. And then we walk in and we're like, you know, whatever, yeah. whatever the heck we are parade float. Like the skies open up. <laughs> or something. But it does blow people's mind. And we had more than a few people come up and be like, yeah. what is this? What's going on here? Yeah. What is this? Yeah. It's, That's my favorite. Is that that... Hmm. Pinup look? Or are you... You look like Betty Boop. Oh, <laughs> Lord. No. Yeah, I do. Are you like one of those like pinup chicks? <laughs> or the girls that come up and are like, 
I used to be in pinup, and that's cute. Okay. <laughs> All right, listen. I'm a bitch. I better shut up. <laughs> she better I'm shut up. Be, White girl boys. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> that's her drink for later. <laughs> So, um, I don't know how much more time we have. Oh, we, we still have, have 10 minutes. We have 10 minutes. Okay. Well, we're not going to be mean. Um, we don't, that's not our intention. No, no, um, but it not. is, but like we, like we're, we said it is fun to, um, walk into some places and dress up. Pretty normal it's fun dress to dress up. up. It's fun to go yeah. out at the end. And, like, and you should ladies, I mean, and guys like, you know, it's nice to throw on some, you know, nice slacks every so often. True. And, just like it makes you feel better about yourself, I think. Like I, right. When I'm in sweatpants, yeah. not feeling so pretty. Yeah, like you know, please, and I don't, don't feel so good me. about myself. Don't yeah, yeah. You know, and to that end, I mean, if we could bring it back to the music part of things, because that's kind of what we do. Um, we were talking about that last night, and it's like um, there's a few bands that I can think of and mention that really bring that sharp. Mm -hmm. You know, that sharp, sharp, and. Um, yeah, you know, guys and bands, guys and bands, listen up. Especially if you're playing, you know, the Americana, the rockabilly, the country. You know what? Buy a suit. You know? Buy even, the shoes. Even Buy my, the shoes. Even my Eddie from the Row of Brothers band, he wears a sport, like a jacket, like a proper. Hey, that like, fella's playing jacket. the rock and roll. He is that playing fella, the rock and that roll. That fella <laughs> is playing like. Max's Kansas City, 1970-something. I, I like the Row of Brothers people. I love them. Yeah. They're so good. If you like rock and roll, if you like that down and dirty, like the Talking Heads and New York Dolls and Bowie yeah. and oh. T-Rex, if you love that sound, yeah. check them out. Check them out. They're so good. But yeah, getting back to dress up. Dress yeah, the part. Dress you know, the um, part. It's always super hot. When, you, when a band walks in and they're going to load in their equipment and they're dressed all sharp and their hair is all done, it's exciting. It adds to your stage presence. It adds well, to... Well, even last night... Yeah. I mean, Elvis is always on nice. Point. He's always, on, always point. on point. And then Josh, you know, with his like cool <gasps> vintage, like gabardine, the like shirt Western from shirt from the 40s. Didn't uh, he say it was from like Warner Brothers costume? Yeah, it was like, yes, from a movie Yeah, movie from lot. a movie lot. Ooh, yeah. yeah, I mean, it was amazing. And then Larry Carr, like he was like dressed. We like your haircut, Larry. And... You look so nice, Larry, last night. I love it. And then Zach is always like put together, put together, very sharp. Yeah. So yeah. And then Matt, like you know, he looked great too. So like, cute. Such a good looking um, young man. Very sharp. Very yeah. Put together. But we love that. And I, I guess I'll just I'll say it. Like I think maybe some of the most impressive that I've seen, um, probably Cash Profits early on when they would walk in and they all had the Western shirts on and they're bringing yeah. in their equipment and they look so sharp. It's like, you know, the band is in the building. Mm -hmm. The band has oh, arrived. And the Rayford brothers do exactly. that as well. That's like, exactly what like, I was just going to mention. Yeah. Rayford brothers, holy cow. Yeah. When they played at the hideaway for one of my shows, um, mm. they walked in the building and it was like, you know, the record, er, it was yeah. like that. Cause it was Seriously. like, everybody just like stopped and looked. Who are those like, guys? Oh, like, where do they are come they, from? Are they aliens? Are yeah. they the CIA? <laughs> are they the music mafia? What are they? They're yeah. amazing. But they so just, good. they're so sharp. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So yeah, bring it. You know, that's a, that's a good little thought to end on. Like mm -hmm. dress mm -hmm. up and show mm -hmm. up mm -hmm. and let's have a good time. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, let's see. I don't want to keep looking at the time, but we don't want to go over because we've been, we've going, been going over, over yeah. and we feel like uh, a 60 minutes is uh, a good amount of time. Mm -hmm. um, but again, um, like Shonda has said, um, you know, email. That's wine, women, and song gals at gmail.com is our email. So email with Always your suggestions. Always contact us there. Yep. If you have products, if you have ideas, you have a show coming up, you want us to talk about your yeah. band. You know, you have a flyer you want to share. I will uh -huh. share it. We'll print yep. it out and share it here. Um, um, if you have like a, a suggestions for local breweries. Mm -hmm. or, or you are a local brewery. Yeah. Or you want to sponsor, you know, mm -hmm. and we'll, we'll feature your product. We're all about yeah. that. We love your um, local stuff. And, or, yeah. Or like... Um, like musicians, if you want us to, so eventually we're going to have music. We want to have like a background. We want to like, you know, show you a CD or a record and then play it. Um, you know, so you guys can hear a snippet if you haven't already been a fan of whoever. And we're a feature presenting. like maybe some acoustics too. Yeah. Eventually. I'd love yeah. to see some players, you know, with their maybe acoustic guitar and, yeah. you know, 
just maybe do a tune or two. That'd yeah, be so that much would be fun. fun. And like talk to them, and mm -hmm. maybe they're like you know if they like wine, hey, like we'll put them to work. We'll yeah. make them make cocktails. <laughs> yeah, shirtless. <laughs> oh. Oh wait, except for the chicks. <laughs> yeah. We. Yeah. I mean, but I don't know. Maybe someone out there wants to see that. Maybe I don't know. Can. I'm just kidding. <laughs> banned. Banned from YouTube. Banned from we YouTube. We are banned. Banned. Uh. banned. That's what we do, though. We're, mm. you know, because, you know, white girl wasted. All day. Yeah. Mm. So, so, anyway, Sundays. guys, make this cocktail. Delish. It's and super thank yummy. You, thank you, Tahoe Blue Vodka. Yes. So, yes. Good. Yes. so good. So good. Delish. I'm so glad we yes. finally got I've, to have yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Um, so, next week, we'll figure out what we're going to do. Um, we'll probably post a few things on um, the Instagram mm -hmm. feed, right? Yeah. So, um, just kind of saying what we are you know, up to or whatever, mm -hmm. but yeah, tune in um, next week. Yeah, at there's some really good events coming up, you guys, and um, we love you and happy Valentine's Day. Yeah. If it's Galentine's Day, that's okay too. Yeah, yay. We're all down <laughs> with that. Um, so maybe we'll do a little wrap up for the next episode on on how our Valentine's Day went. Yep. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, have a good one. Yay. And again, if you have any suggestions, please holler at us. Okay. Cheers, Cheers guys. Cheers, guys. Yay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Hi, Shanda! <laughs> I'm glad you tuned in. Hi, oh. Chris. <laughs> Hi, guys. Thank you for watching, Shanda. We love you, Shanda. Mwah. Come and play. Yes, come back to Sacramento. Okay, we're tuning out, people. We're done. Till the next we're time. We're done. We're going to Sac Yard right come now. Come to Sac Yard. Bye. Bye.